Hi and welcome back to this course on Memories in VLSI. In this video, we will continue with our introductory part and will cover some of the basic terms related to memory. Writeability and storage permanence are two fundamental aspects of any type of memory. We will understand these one by one. First of all, what is writeability? Writeability refers to the manner and the speed at which the data can be written into that memory. Yeah, speed you might have understood we need as fast as possible to write into that memory. But when we say manner, it refers to the way in which we write into the memory, whether the processor can write into the memory under normal conditions. For example, if we want to write into some digital gates, it's very easy to do so under normal conditions or whether it needs some some kind of special treatment whether it has to use a higher voltages or something like that depending on these we have to classify the memories at the high end of writability we have memories which processor can write to simply and quickly by setting address data and control lines this is very simple way of writing into the memory and it will be very fast at the same time processor can simply write into that memory under normal conditions i will not give you any example right now when we see the type of memories i'll show you some of the examples at that time about writability and as well as storage permanence at middle range we have memories that are slower to write by a processor so the speed is slower the lowest range is nothing but the memories that can be written to a special piece of equipment called as programmer or burner which means that the processor can cannot directly write into these type of memories so a programmer or a burner is a special tool or equipment which has to be used to write into that memory the second term is storage permanence the storage permanence refers to the ability of the memory to hold its stored bits after the bits have been written and it is the integrity of the memory itself for an ideal memory we want the highest storage permanence that is it should never lose its bits once it has been written which means we can retrieve that information at any time it should never lose the data but in reality it is not so the memories will have low to high range of storage permanence at the low range of storage permanence we have memories that begin to lose its bits just after it has been written it doesn't mean that it will completely lose the bit but since it loses its voltage can be said that starts losing its bits just after it has been written and there are memories in the middle range which will hold the bits as long as there is power which are specifically referred to as volatile memories we also have the memories that hold the bits for days or months or even years after the pow power has been turned off which are referred to as non-volatile memory which also come in this uh, middle range we also have highest range of storage permanence right which are the memories which will never lose its bits until and unless the devices are completely damaged the next term that we have to understand is the capacity or density and speed of the memories so speed of the memory is very important but at the same time the capacity or density also matters so in case of computers uh, and microprocessors it is very important we want to store as many bits as possible right but we always will have a trade off of density versus speed because some memories which have highest speed need more area which reduces their density so if we need more density we may have to lose speed and if we need more speed we may have to lose some density so there is a trade off between capacity or density and the speed of the memories next we will consider some of the reliability terms which are very important in some specific uh, memories for example retention time so the retention time is the duration for which the memory cell will hold its value now you might have thought that retention time is almost same as storage permanence well it's not true because we are specifying the retention time 
for the memory cell itself so you can change the type of memory cell to make a higher retention time and it refers to only a single bit then we have something called as endurance what is endurance endurance means the number of times that the cell can be erased and programmed well this is very important because there is a highest or maximum limit for the number of times that can be written into the memory we assume that always okay i can write as many times i want to into the memory but this is not so in some of the memories there is a maximum limit how many times you can erase and rewrite into that memory so these are the terms which are very important in uh, memories in vlsi thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video and bye bye